G'day everyone. Um, I am back with the Toyota Free State Cheetahs. It's the last round of Premiership Rugby. Uh, we're in seventh position. Maybe we can get to six. Um, we beat Saracens last game. That was a surprising, surprisingly good win. We just didn't give up and managed to come back um, after being down a few points in the game. So that was a really good win. Um, don't think we'll make the finals. Um, just looking at stats of players, I just want to point out um, the top try scorer for the team uh, was Ali Migajima. So 10 tries, uh, great attacking weapon. Coming in second was actually uh, Sabu Makossi. Um, nine tries. Um, some of the other players, I think, you know, just a couple tries here and there. Matanua three, Winnie Hartzenberg five. Um, just look for James Verity M. I think he, I think he scored three, yeah, three tries. Um, so yeah, Migajim is important outside centre. So for this last game, uh, forward, the whole team is pretty much unchanged from last week. Uh, just that I've dropped Sabu Nakosi. Um, and we'll just put in Mazamo on the wing. And Cameron Dawson gets an opportunity at hooker. Marcy DeWall on the bench. So we'll just see if we can beat South Sharks. Um, You know, I, I can't remember if we actually beat them uh, previous game, so we'll just get stuck into it. Welcome to Twickenham Stadium. We have a great matchup for this round of the AU Cup. This game really could go either way. Both squads are packed with talent and experience. And joining me is former All Black Justin Marshall. This game greatly anticipated by a lot of people, Justin. These two teams always put on a good showing. Crowd are eager to see things get started. The atmosphere just starting to build. Well, I'd expect a close one here. It may come down to one mistake or a moment of brilliance to swing it one way or the other. It's all set for outstanding rugby. This should be a superb game of rugby. All ready for the referee to give the signal now. And play begins. We're underway. The kickoff snapped up. Yeah, he did an outstanding job to secure that catch. Read it beautifully. Lovely tackle. Hill dives all over it. Now he gets the ball away. Now flat. The number 13 with a running opportunity again. That's halfway. The cheaters could still have the ball here. He keeps the ball moving. Thunder Merva finds support. Oh, a little pass. 
Support there. Punt. Sprinting hard. That's a very flat pass. Dupria gets the ball away. McGuinn is absolutely smashed. Dupria running at pace and power. Ball is ready now. The scrum half pushes through. Strong running. And eventually they stop him after a good run. Tumua tackles superbly there. The number nine launches one into the air. Gathers it in from on high. Passes to his support. Short pass. Tuilangi crunches it up. Good, strong run. It's there. Ross takes it. Dupria runs it at them. Taken down there. Release. And they held this ball perfectly. Shovels it on. Good run here. Breaks the first tackle. Ah, uh, yes, brilliant work by Sale Sharks. Well contained. They've still got some work to do. Let's see if they can get themselves into an attacking position. He's getting some attention. Crouch. Bind. Set. The cheaters looking to get the upper hand. A brutal contest in the scrum. That's the ball out there. The cheaters have to scramble back to cover this. He's got that one in the air. And they drive him backwards. A bit of pressure building, but they relieve some of it. And it's been well anticipated. That's a good, powerful kick. He's got that good catch. It's so easy to drop the ball in a situation like that. But I've got to say, he never looked like dropping it. And the penalty comes. Oh, yeah, that was a high one. Flicks a short pass. Nice short pass. Tui Lungi hands it back. McGuigan with a good run. Shut down with a brutal tackle. The number nine taken into touch. Neyman is the target. On comes the drive. Ball goes inside. There's some real force in this defence. Look at him go. What a run. Oh, risky trying to offload that. Tui Lungi claims the loose ball. Dupria stops him with a nice tackle. Not a good tackle, that one. Bowman brought down in a lovely Release. tackle. And he's shaken up by that one. And he's crunched to the ground hard. Quick delivery. Short, clever pass. Thunder Merva is pushed back in a great tackle. He pops the pass nicely. A little pass there. Hunt gets a sudden burst of speed. And he's finally taken to ground. Release. Tries to fend, but is taken. The number nine goes over for the first try of the match. He's done the right thing there, and a good finish gives him the points. And we're ready for the conversion attempt. And the conversion now from a slight angle. But he'd be hoping to add the extra two here.
Here's the kickoff. Kickoff dragged down. Advantage. Oh, lost forward, I think. Dupria swooping on the loose ball there. And he's hammered in that. <laughs> Back he goes. No way through there. Fustusen gets the ball away. Now smash. Advantage over. And he's driven into touch. Snayman gets it. Back inside. He keeps the ball moving. Taken down in a brutal release. Tackle. And that's well kept by the cheaters. That is a thunderous punt. Look at that. They come away with the loose ball. McGuigan is chasing after this. The bounce is favourable. It was a good catch under pressure. You've got to be calm in those situations. And he did it well. Stolen ball, turnover. Built some pressure, and they turned the ball over very well. Dupria dragged Release. out in a nice tackle. Ross feeds it off. He spreads it. Tuilangi charging on. Tackle to ground. Hart with a pass. To Moore. Passes his 22 metre line. Funda Merva with a good burst of speed. Ross moves it back. Now the chaser is coming forward onto this. Lovely tackle. Taking a tackle, but still able to offload. Great work by the defence. It's a turnover. They were banking on getting this back, and now they have. I think they still have this one. The number nine checks both sides. Release. He pushes it on, and he's battered by the defence. Release. Yep, it's still on their side. He spreads it. The pass goes inside there. Hurts. Nailed in that tackle. Who scampers ahead. Inside with that pass. Beaumont hands it back. McGuigan. And he's in. Nice work. Well, there was some high-quality stuff in there. Look at that. It's just a brilliant piece of work. Dead right. Dupria sizing up this conversion attempt. Should be a gift. No trouble with that. Two more points. The scrum half kicks off. Tuilangi takes in the kickoff. The centre unable to tackle effectively. Passes the 22. And he puts boot to ball. Let's it bounce, but he's gathered it up. Such a great catch in his bow. Lost against the throw. Trying to get a drive going here. Short pass here. Sends a good pass. Gives it short. Fends nicely. And he gets smashed in the tackle. Release. The ball there now. Flicks a little one. Solomona smashed hard. Release. Good contest, but it's still theirs. The number nine. Getting plenty of the ball here. Pushes it on. Hill. Brings him to the ground nicely. That'll knock the wind out of him. Lovely tackle. Tremendous tackle Release. there. Thunder Merva has it out the back. They've earned the penalty. Definite penalty, Nisbo. Well, I'm wondering if the ref will think that that warrants a trip to the bin. Should be an easy three points for Dupria. You'll line this one up right in front.
And the kickoff is made here. Kickoff nicely taken in. This is a maul. So, an effective maul. Now they get it going. They've got control of this as they look to do something with this maul. Advantage. Oh, and it's lost forward. He dives onto the loose ball. Van Beek is absolutely smashed. And he's pounded into the ground. The Cheetahs might have retained this. Oh, good night! Oh, here's a penalty. Well, it looked high to me, and the ref agreed too. So, they'll take the points. Tough kick from this distance. The 5'8", sizing up this kick. So the kickoff is made. This should be the last set of plays before half time. Pass to no one. Oh, intercept. Back he goes. Release. The scrum half has advantage. It's been lost forward. And he's shaken up by that one. It's in touch. Yeah, he just lost control of the ball on that occasion. First Crouch. scrum in the game. An important Bind. defensive scrum here. Set. Furious looking scrum down there. He's been hit hard. The halfback driven backwards. The halfback keeps it going. Nice inside pass. Shut down with a brutal tackle. That pass goes in, and he's over the 22 metre line. He pushes the pass further. Solomona crunched in the tackle. Release. The halfback pushes it on. Good defence. Release. Hart shakes him up in that tackle. The tight head prop lays it. Back. Advantage. Knock on was the call. Look at that formation, Justin. All eyes on the fly half here. And he kicks it. Advantage and over. Contained by the number five. And this time he's taken. There's some real force on this defense. Crunch to ground. Thunder Merva gives it off now. McGuigan. Races away. It's a try. And it was a brilliant finish. How fired up are they now after that? Simply magical, folks. It was a beautifully timed run, and the gap, well, it just opened up. Yep, totally agree. They've got their five, they could get their seven. What a big kick this is. It's only two points, but it could be what wins the game. Dupria gets the conversion. Well, you'd have to say, these points are very important to them in this intense battle. It's a tight match. So, half time here, the Sharks leading at the break by 17-10. A marvellous attendance here as always. Absolutely. Good work being done by the forwards, and you can see that in the hit-up figures. Caught and crashes it up. He's been hit hard. He's taken down hard. Lovely tackle. Now taken down hard. Tries the fin, but just too strong for him. The back row with a good fin. Crab like that. Release. One, finally taken down. Oh, 
Tui Lumi put some power into that tackle. The halfback crunched in the tackle. They can't reel him in. It'll be a try for sure. For the corner. Well, there were some outstanding individual contributions to that try. You can see it all comes from the pressure. That's how they found the gaps. Yep, that's right, Justin. A chance to add another two here. The conversion now, and he should be able to land this one, even though there's a bit of an angle on it. And the flags go up. Two more points in this hotly contested match. That is good. Very good kick. You can feel the tension mounting, can't you? It's still very much anyone's game. The number nine from halfway. Thunder Merva snaps up the kickoff. There's a real force in this defence. Release. And he unleashes a good, strong punt. Takes it on the bounce. Well, it was a great catch. He's got good hands. Release. The number nine feeds it off now. Hill makes the kick. Gets it after the bounce. He's got some pace. Strong defence. Excellent run, but good defence made on him. The defence, their line speed defensively was below average. A terrible pass. Interception! He's got pretty good hands, and Release. he pulled off an excellent catch to prove it. That'll knock the wind out of him, and he's dragged down. Ross shakes him up in that tackle. And he's driven back in the tackle. Nice inside pass. Flat pass. Oh, mercy me, what a tackle. That could have put him in Ward 4. I hope not, Justin. That's a maternity goal. And down he goes, finally. So, they're making progress, but still some work to do here. The ball pops out and he takes a run. Now flat. Beaumont moves it back. Thunder Merva stopped some now. Release. There's some real force in this defence. He's been hit hard. That's gone to no one. Now an intercept. Yeah, it certainly was a good catch back there. Lovely tackle. Well, it was a dreadfully bad pass. Hart forced back in the tackle, and he's into touch. Beaumont claims the ball, sends it flat. Yep, that's a maul. Roots has it at the back of the maul. 
shut down with a brutal tackle. So more formed here, and they've got it at the back there. Oosthuizen shows great strength to get through that one. Lovely tackle. Taylor loses some ground. He shows a clean pair of heels. And he's driven backwards now. Release. The halfback takes a run at the defensive line. Tamua runs smack into the defence. Hunt going hard. He's nearly there. What a run all the way to the chalk. And that's his second try of the match. Well, what a scintillating attack. Outstanding try. It was a beautifully timed run, and the gap, well, it just opened up. Absolutely. The number 10, looking to convert the try here. Important kick, this one. Scores pretty even here. The flags are up, and the score now 24-17. You've got to admire the unyielding nature of this contest. They've been stretched at times, but it's still a tight match. The scrum half makes the restart. Advantage! Oh, lost the ball. Tumua gathers up the loose ball. He just couldn't control the ball. It's going to Crouch. be a scrum. Well, it's a good... Bye. And set a good opportunity here. They'll definitely want to turn this into points. The defense preparing themselves here. Back inside. Misses his man. Going nowhere in that tackle. Terrible attempt to tackle that. Bowman makes some ground. Test it. <laughs> Wonderful. Ross delivers the ball. Beaumont running for the line. The number nine takes it out of the back. McWigan close to the try line. Over the touch line he goes. They'll have a line out. Not his best throw. He drops it onto the boot. The right winger picks the ball up. And they'll go back for the 22 restart. The number nine restarts from the 22. Hill has it under control. Sale Sharks chasing up now. The number 14 will restart this at the 22. Twenty-two metre restart now. RP goes and makes the catch. The number 15 gathers it. Did well though, didn't he? It was a very good catch under pressure. 
There's some real force in this defense. Strong defense. Loose ball, snapped up. Oh, that's a shock. And they take him to ground. Well, there lies the problem, really. The inability to cover at the right time. Maul is locked in now. They make ground with this Maul. Ross can see it in there. Punches away with this one. And he's knocked down hard. Release. Hard Advantage. and straight. And the ball lost forward. Waving past there. And the penalty is given. The tackle was a bit high. I think this might be a yellow card here. Good decision. The contact was too high and they'll take the penalty. Let's see how the Brown. scrum responds here. Fierce Find. contest in the scrum so far. How will they cope Set. this time? And a good hit. The cheaters with the put-in. A brutal contest in the scrum. Van Furen looking for support as he runs. Nice tackle, but not before he made plenty of ground. The number eight gets it away. That's a poor pass. The fed ineffectual on that occasion. That tackle hasn't stopped him. Bowman pulls Release. him down in a textbook tackle. Taylor gathers it out of the back. Now taken to the ground in a good tackle. Macken tackling hard. Putting his foot down now. The number 10 with a terrific run. Charges. Pushes through with a big run. That try was worth the price of any entry ticket. He certainly knows how to score the tries, this guy, doesn't he? Their attacking rugby is rewarded with a bonus point. It's great to see that sort of play. Yes, you're absolutely right. Shot at goal, still to come, and chance for another two points. This one off to the side, but not too difficult. So, just a few minutes remaining here. Restart then. Kick off, take it in. Pretty good hands on display there, Nisbo. Inside with that. Debar goes hard. He's taken down hard. We're into the last few ticks of the clock now. Now taken down hard. The defence having some trouble now. They really need to start tightening things up. He's been hit hard. Huge carry this. Finally stopped. Tamua with a good burst. Oh, they've only got a few minutes to make something. Loses ground and momentum Release. in that run. Roots has the ball. No stopping him there. He's been hit hard. It's a poor pass. There's some real force in this defence. His run has taken him right to the try line here. Von Furen. On the charge goes the skipper. Devar in the corner. Yeah, that was a great try. 
and they're looking very comfortable in the way that the game is at this stage. And they've hit back once again, quick succession. Well, they've been absolutely outstanding, haven't they? A lot of outstanding work goes on here, and you see the moment where the defence finally breaks. No doubt about that, Justin. Conversion to follow, and he's not about to take this kick for granted. This match just about over here. And it's wide, so the try remains unconverted. Yeah, it wasn't a great angle to work with, was it? And the game is over. The Cheetahs have done it. The Cheetahs, they're coming away with the points here. The Cheetahs, victorious here. A respectable game of rugby. The stats show a slight lean in position. They controlled territory well. They made plenty of gains without being pegged back. So, it's all finished here. The Cheetahs with the victory. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. An emergency meeting. Well, I don't know what to make of this, but I thought we did all right. Um, I don't know if I want to do another season of this. To be honest, probably not. Um, I actually wouldn't mind doing Curry Cup, but I'd really like the teams to be updated, and that's going to be a big job. Um, but yeah, this this is cool. I mean, look, I, I like Rugby Challenge Four. I think it's I think it's a really good game. Some people really criticise it. Um, I think you know they have a lot of um, great gameplay and you know playing on the field. All the gameplay with, with you know the rugby mechanics on the field, the rucks and everything and the attack and defence lines, I think it's really good. I think a lot of effort was put into this game and, you know, it might be quite similar to Rugby Challenge 3, but um, I, you know, I, I think it's great. It's just the only problem is you've got to keep updating the game with the teams and players to keep it interesting. So, I don't know. Um, I'll look at how Rugby 25 is being updated. Um, I have been tempted to go back and um, edit the Curry Cup and actually make new players and edit new players. Um, it's just having time to do that, balancing work, and personal life and free time. And, um, and then Rugby 25 kind of been quite sort of excited for it, but also seeing now that it's taking a while to update the game with new content. So I don't know, you know, what kind of new content we're getting soon. I mean, hopefully we'll get a licensed competition of some sort, which will be interesting for everyone. 
plus the fan hub. So if we get a fan hub, yeah, I might be putting a lot of effort making players for Rugby 25, depending on you know what content is coming soon, competitions. Um, I do like to create players um, just to show everyone. Um, when this game came out in 2020, which was during COVID, uh, here in Australia, we had to go under government lockdowns. No one could go out, really, except for shopping. So, yeah, I spent a few months creating players and stuff and sharing players. Anyway, I've got 119 pages here, and I think it's roughly 15 players page. Yeah. So if you times uh, 15 by 119, 1,785 players. That's why I created for Rugby Challenge 4. Um, but that's over four years, so it's not it's not during COVID. But it's over four years of me creating teams, updating competitions, um, so I could put out content on my channel. But also I just did it for myself. I just wanted to play, you know, games and, and competitions that were updated. Um so yeah, it's helped a lot of players. Um, what can I say? I've just yeah, I've put a lot of hours into this game. Um, I think I have around fifteen hundred and fifty hours or something um, with Rugby Challenge Four. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I don't know what's next. Um, I'll just see. I might go back to Rugby Twenty Two. A bit. Um, I might start editing Curry Cup on this a bit. Um, but yeah, hopefully we, we all get some info on Rugby 25, find out what's happening, what's coming in with content. Um, that'll help me decide where I should put my effort with player creation, things like that. Um, because yeah, Rugby Challenge 4, I guess it is a bit of a obsolete game now. Um, and yeah, hopefully... We just get all those improvements that we want to see with Rugby 25. But thanks for watching, everyone. It's been good. I'm proud of the cheaters, how they went. Um, I thought it was a decent effort. We, we knocked over quite a few teams. Okay, see you, everyone. Bye.